Today in the news, we got AMD problems, NVIDIA naming, and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with KFC, really. So a few months ago, the KFC gaming Twitter account posted a video unveiling their KF console. It came around when either Xbox or Sony were unveiling their console designs. It seemed like just a joke to capitalize on the hype from the console reveals, but it turns out that it's real. The KF console is actually built by Cooler Master and is basically an Intel NUC, an Asus RTX GPU, and some Seagate storage sandwiched together at the bottom of a bucket looking case. The landing page for the PC is pretty funny since it says only the best, yet has a 9th gen NUC inside. I guess it's the best for this application since the heat generated by the component keeps the chicken chamber hot. Really weird things to say here. Honestly, I doubt it really works. And anyways, I'm guessing that it's probably just a one-off case and that it'll never really be sold. It looks cool though. What do you guys think? Moving on, we got AMD in the news. Well, actually it's MSI, but because of AMD. Usually, GPU manufacturers have a few different options for each GPU models. So for example, if we look at the RTX 3080, MSI has six different variations available for purchase. Well, it seems like there are so little Navi 21 slash RX 6000 chips coming from AMD to board partners that MSI is just not going to be selling its Supreme or Ventus line for AMD. Only the gaming and gaming X Tria. This move gives a bit more information on the status of production for AMD. It looks like the very low availability on these GPUs will continue for a while. Speaking of GPUs, we got NVIDIA. It looks like uh, Hopper might not be Ampere's successor. In case you didn't know, Hopper is rumored to be built on TSMC's 5 nanometer process and be built using a multi-chip module design. We thought that Hopper would surface next year, but it seems like the company is delaying it to 2023 slash 2024. In its place, another architecture would be Next. Videocards.com thinks that the Next architecture would be called Ada Lovelace, who was previously featured on an NVIDIA t-shirt. It will apparently still be a monolithic design though. Moving on to some gaming news, if you're a fan of Microsoft Flight Simulator and VR, the update you've been waiting for is here. Microsoft just updated the game for VR with OpenXR compatibility, meaning that you can use pretty much any of the currently available VR headsets to play the game. The update also packs a couple of new missions and some Christmas Easter eggs. Also, in gaming, Steam has officially announced their winter sale event. From now until January 5th, you can get some games for pretty cheap. Personally, I think I'm gonna grab a Borderlands 3. Also, don't forget to check out the free games event from the Epic Game Store. Apparently, the list of upcoming mystery games isn't such a mystery anymore. Today is Inside, tomorrow will be uh, Darkest Dungeon, after that, My Time in Portia, Night in the Woods, and etc, etc. You can see the uh, leaked list here here. Circling back to AMD, it looks like their upcoming laptop processors are going to kick some butt. The Zen 3 based 6 core 12 threads 5600H was spotted running Geekbench and absolutely devastates its predecessor, the 4600H. It's 37% faster in single core and 18% in multi core. Unfortunately, it will still use Vega as its graphics component, but at least I hope that AMD once again tweaks it for better performance. On the desktop side of things, there's Patrick Schur over on Twitter who is teasing us about upcoming APUs. As you know, the 4000G lineup of desktop CPUs were reserved for OEMs and the build your own PC community was, well, disappointed. AMD did clarify that APUs were coming as standalone soon, but we still haven't heard anything. Patrick Schur seems to have found a 5700G and 5600G. Just like in the laptops though, these APUs would still be equipped with Vega graphics, which is really annoying. When are they going to put Navi? inside the freaking APUs. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. You know it right. <laughs>